Rev your engines and fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to take you on a thrilling ride through the latest in auto. Welcome to Highway Herald. The 2025 Hyundai Santa Cruz is gearing up to give the Ford Maverick a run for its money. Its distinctive and robust design, unshakable reliability, and an interior that borders on luxury are just a few reasons why you might want to hold off on that blue oval purchase. Let's dive into why the 2025 Hyundai Santa Cruz is sending shockwaves through the auto industry. Reason number six, embracing the rough and tough. The Hyundai Santa Cruz's design has always sparked debate. Many critics felt it bore too much resemblance to the Hyundai Tucson, which was a significant factor in its less than stellar popularity. But Hyundai took the market's feedback to heart, and for the 2025 model year, they've given their compact pickup truck a makeover. The redesign enhances the vehicle's rugged appeal and sharp lines without sacrificing the unique aesthetic that the Tucson and Santa Cruz are celebrated for. Take the LED front grille, for instance. It's still there, but the lights have been reshaped into rectangles, lending the vehicle a sharper, more vintage appeal and a truly charismatic face. This is further accentuated by a streamlined and sharper front bumper, giving the vehicle a no-nonsense look that's a welcome change. Add to this the addition of two tow hooks at the front for certain trims, and you've got a pickup that screams ruggedness. The sides haven't seen much change, save for more pronounced plastic wheel arches on certain trims that transform the vehicle from a mundane city pickup truck to a bona fide off-roader. The rear end has received a facelift too, albeit subtler, with minor tweaks to the bumper. And honestly, we wouldn't have it any other way, as the Santa Cruz's rear end was never a problem to begin with. Reason number five, power under the hood. One of the standout features of the Hyundai Santa Cruz that gives it an edge over the Maverick is its engine options, and you'll be thrilled to know that this isn't changing. The Hyundai Santa Cruz continues to offer two powertrains, both of which can be equipped with all-wheel drive. The base model boasts a 2.5-liter naturally aspirated inline four that delivers a solid 190 horsepower. This makes the Santa Cruz significantly lighter than the hybrid Maverick, resulting in a zippier real-world performance and a smoother ride. And let's not forget the 8-speed automatic gearbox, which leaves the CVT-equipped Maverick in the dust, offering a superior torque range and a more flexible power band. The 2.5 turbocharged four-cylinder is even more remarkable, churning out over 280 horsepower, which outmuscles the EcoBoost Maverick. Plus, it's paired with a dual-clutch transmission for swift gear changes and impressive fuel efficiency. And did we mention that this engine packs more torque than the Maverick's power unit? The icing on the cake is that you can opt for all-wheel drive with both engines, making it a far more versatile truck compared to the Maverick, which forces you to choose the turbocharged 4 if you want all-wheel drive. And while these engines may not be as fuel efficient as the hybrid Maverick in the city, MPG figures of 22 city and 26 highway are still pretty respectable. But the Santa Cruz's advantages over the Maverick don't stop there, as you'll see in reason number four, stellar reliability. Hyundai has earned a reputation as one of the most reliable car brands in the US over the past decade, and the company's 10-year warranty continues to reinforce this fact. The Santa Cruz's biggest selling point is its reliability, especially compared to its blue oval rival, which has been known to spontaneously combust. This is due to the hybrid's engines not being thoroughly tested, with some instances of engine blocks cracking and leaking fuel, which ignites upon contact with the hot exhaust manifold. Combine this with the onboard lithium-ion batteries, and it's clear why the Maverick isn't exactly renowned for its safety and reliability. In contrast, the Santa Cruz's straightforward and well-tested drivetrains and power plants outperform the questionable Ford Maverick. The truck's sheer reliability gives you the feeling of driving a genuine workhorse, not just a rebadged average SUV. And speaking of average, the Santa Cruz also outshines the Maverick when it comes to driving dynamics. Before we delve deeper, we'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to Highway Herald. Your support fuels our passion to create more content like this. Now let's explore reason number three, a thrilling ride. There's no denying that the Ford Maverick leaves much to be desired when it comes to the driving experience. It's not exactly a chore to drive, but it's far from exciting. It drives just as it looks, plain. The Santa Cruz, on the other hand, offers a far superior driving experience. Thanks to its shorter and wider wheelbase, the Santa Cruz feels much more grounded on the road, despite being as elevated as the Maverick. His is further enhanced by its firm, almost sporty suspension that makes it quite engaging to drive around bends. And the fact that the steering wheel is also quite direct adds significantly to the experience. 
Sure, it's not extraordinary, but it's far more communicative and responsive than what the Maverick has to offer. And let's not forget the aforementioned power plant and transmission combinations that make the vehicle much more responsive and controllable, which again significantly enhances the driving experience. Now, you might be concerned that the added stiffness would make the truck uncomfortable to drive, but that's not the case thanks to the Santa Cruz's reason number two, impressively modern and well-constructed interior. The Santa Cruz has always been a step ahead of the Maverick in terms of interior quality, and the redesigned model takes this even further. The interior seats are now even more comfortable than before, with improved profiling and more support. The steering wheel has also been replaced with Hyundai's new three-spoke design, which gives the vehicle a much more modern look. However, the most significant change is undoubtedly the infotainment screen and the center console. The infotainment screen is now sharper, larger, and far more intuitive than the previous generation. The largest one is a 12.3-inch unit that has been seamlessly integrated with the digital driver's display, which gives the vehicle a much more luxurious look and opens up the interior. The center console has been simplified, with tactile physical buttons replaced by sleek rotary dials for climate control. The Santa Cruz's interior outshines the Maverick with its superior quality. The dash is covered in soft-touch materials, a stark contrast to Ford's hard plastics. The seats are also a significant upgrade from the Maverick's basic cloth seats. However, these enhancements come with a higher price tag, leading us to our final discussion point which is Reason number 1. Pricing and trim levels The Santa Cruz, while pricier than the Ford Maverick, offers a range of features that justify its cost. The base SE model, priced at around $29,000, offers a superior interior to the Maverick but lacks the large 12.3-inch display and high-quality interior. For an additional $2,000, the SEL model provides keyless go, remote start, and dual-zone climate controls, making it a better value for money. The night trim level, while visually appealing, is somewhat overpriced at $40,000, trading in ruggedness for a more city-oriented design. The XLR, priced $2,000 more than the night, offers a raised ride, a rugged exterior, a well-equipped interior, and a host of safety features. The limited model, the top of the range offering, provides the highest interior quality and perfect driving dynamics, priced at $43,000. In conclusion, the XLR or the SEL would be our top picks depending on your budget. The Limited is also a good choice, but we'd advise against the SE and the night trims. That's it for this episode of Highway Herald. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest vehicle updates and upcoming videos. Drive safe and see you on the next journey.